coming through this morning. Uh, what a wonderful honor and a privilege to be with all of you here today, ahead of the 24th Annual Congress that will be staged right here at the Santon Convention Center. And the reason why we're stepping up to address you here very briefly is just to set aside a couple of house rules ahead of the official start of this morning's event. As you know, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be a live broadcast uh, commencing in the next few minutes, uh, going out on SABC Channel 404. And in that time, we'd really like all of you to have your cell phones either off or on silent so that we don't get any interruption uh, within the live broadcast itself. And I know that my colleague, uh, Mini Lamini, good to see you. I uh, will also be here to assist us in this progress, and she'll also have a couple of rules as well to set out. Mini. Yes, also please, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't mind, um, if you could not walk around during the live broadcast, it's only an hour. It will be quick and painless, I promise you. Um, so if you do need a bit of a water break now, now is the time to do it. Otherwise, when we go live in just a few minutes, um, if we could please just remain our seats for the hour. Thank you. All right, the former heads of state uh, are here, ladies and gentlemen, in the next uh, few minutes as well. Uh, we will be ushering them into the podium, and if I may invite each and every one of you uh, to please stand in that moment. We'll also be singing uh, the national anthem as well. So we want to hear the energy right here in this room. Uh, remember that today is another important day, given the fact that uh, the national team of the reason why we're all here will be playing today. So I think they want to hear it all the way in the Congo. So if you don't sing loud enough here today, there'll be a problem. So can we agree to that? Let's say a yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I love the energy. Thank you so much. We'll see you in a few minutes.
If you could please take your seats, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, South Africa. We are broadcasting live from the Samson Convention Center, proudly brought to you by the South African Football Association. We all know that sport is the glue of our nation. More so with the 2010 FIFA World Cup, which we hosted, we saw not only how much football is loved by, uh, by South Africans, but we saw a different outlook of our country. We saw our cities being transformed into places for the entire family, entertainment areas which we still celebrate and enjoy today. More so, football has the beautiful ability to transform a pauper into a prince. This I witness almost on a daily when I interview these amazing soccer stars that we have in our country. Thus, it is my great privilege and honor to award the core founding individuals who have paved the way for our beautiful fraternity. And as we move football forward, ladies and gentlemen, it's also very important to reflect back on the history and the journey that this beautiful game has taken. And had it not been for the leadership that is here with us today and our privilege we are to welcome them uh, to this auspicious occasion, ladies and gentlemen, there's always a time to reflect, to reflect on the good, to reflect on the bad, and also the journeys that were very demanding as far as moving forward in South African football is concerned. We went through the days of being beaten thoroughly by neighboring countries here and also on the African continent. Then we, the tide turned back in 1996 uh, when success came to South Africa. And since then, there were active presidents uh, within the South African Football Association in the same way that there were active presidents in the leadership roles within South Africa. And that's why it's important that we've invited them to be here today and to be part and parcel ahead of an important Congress that's gonna be staged right here in Santon today. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we're not gonna be wasting time. We'll make this as fun an occasion as possible I know we're here looking very serious in our suits, but trust me, football is a happy game. It's a happy sport, <laughs> and we need to reflect that in a very happy way. I will ask each and every one of you to please stand as we now sing officially the national anthem. Take your seats, ladies and gentlemen. If we could please welcome on stage SAFA President Dr. Danny Jordan to give us our official welcome. It is indeed a great pleasure 
that I, on behalf of SAFA and its entire membership, welcome uh, His Excellency, former President Thabo Mbeki, His Excellency, President F.W. de Klerk, His Excellency, former President Khalema Moslante, the Honorable Minister of Sport and Recreation, Mr. Fiklem Balula, the representative of the Mandela family in Deleka, Mandela, legends of our past and our revered leaders, Ahmed Kasrada, Andrew Langeni, Advocate George Bezos, esteemed commercial partners present, our honorary president, Professor Khadina Bekau, Vice President, Mr. Lucas Nslapo, Elvis Shisana, the Chairman of the National Soccer League and Vice President of SAFA, Dr. Ivan Koza, members of the National Executive Committee of SAFA, presidents of regions and their delegations, president of associate members and their delegations, founder members of SAFA, fellow delegates, former President Kastina Matandani, honored ladies and gentlemen, valued members of the media, Welcome to this 24th Annual General Meeting of SAFA. Uh, today, we recognize that SAFA has walked a historical path. South African football was a member of CAF and FIFA in 1964. South Africa was suspended by FIFA. And in 1976, South Africa was expelled from FIFA. FIFA has set two conditions for South Africa's return. One, that there must be a united, single, non-racial governing body of, of football in South Africa. And we, at the time, had four national bodies divided on racial lines. The founding fathers were the people who came together to form that single, non-racial organization. The second condition was that apartheid had to cease in terms of law and policy. And we have all of the presidents, of course, the first one, was uh, President F. W. de Klerk. And then, after the speech in 1990, in 1991, SAFA was formed. In 1992, SAFA was accepted as a member of FIFA. And you immediately recognize that our first democratic election was only in 1994. So two years before the democratic elections, FIFA accepted South Africa. And that was on the basis that President de Klerk and President Nelson Mandela at that time had given the assurance that the process which was underway at the time was irreversible and that there will be a democratic, non-racial, non-sexist South Africa. So we want to recognize those presidents. Also those presidents who then took the, the path of first the bird in 2006 and eventually the right to host the World Cup won in 2004 and then delivering the World Cup in 2010. And in that, we want to recognize the contribution of President Thabo Mbeki, President Khalema Motlante, and the president who was then ensuring the implementation and the delivery of a successful World Cup, uh, President Jacob Zuma. These are the presidents that will honor you this morning. Thank you very much. Thank you so much uh, to the president of SAFA, Dr. Danny Jordan, in spearheading, obviously, the current leadership of the South African Football Association. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, let's call upon uh, a man who's otherwise known as bringing razzmatazz as far as the sport is concerned. And he's here today as the Minister of Sport, Mr. Phil Mbalula. Thank you, Program Director, the President of SAFA, Mr. Dr. Denis Jordan, and the entire leadership of SAFA National Executive Committee present here today, former President uh, F.W. de Klerk and former Vice President in a new democratic uh, South Africa. Uh, F. W. D. Clark, former president uh, Tabombeki, 
uh, Comrade Mvunyelwa Tabumbeki. Uh, that is proper, President. <laughs> yes. And um, former President uh, Kalima uh, Mutlante and uh, also Vice President. The important thing about uh, these gentlemen is that they each had an opportunity to have uh, to be president and vice president. Two, you know, they had the second bite. <laughs> uh, and um, the president is represented by me, and uh, that doesn't mean anything for the future. Please don't confuse it. Uh, it, it just means that uh, I'm here. And uh, stalwarts, uh, celebrating 25 years since they were, I think, uh, incarcerated and released, Utata uh, Umlange and Utata uh, Ahmed Kathrada. Stalwarts is Twalande, they are here with us here today. It is a great honor and privilege to be amongst you. And uh, Advocate George Bezos, uh, also present here today, and uh, many dignitaries are present here today. And I dare say we are in the presence of greatness today. And it's a great honor and privilege for me to stand here as a Minister of Sports 20 years on to celebrate, but at the same time to remind ourselves about our journey and to say that South Africa is indeed a better place to live in. Notwithstanding the challenges that we are faced with, poverty under development, but sports plays a critical role in uniting our people, in uniting our people in building the nation and enhancing social cohesion within South Africa. We know that our people drown their sorrows uh, and in poverty by simply following and celebrating those important goals, may it be in the PSL and also our glorious team, Bafana Bafana. Our journey has just begun. Uh, president Mbeki once said to me when I was president of the Youth League that when I, I was not criticizing, so generous to Bafana Bafana uh, about their performance. And then he said that uh, we need to instill in them the understanding of what it means to play for the country. And I said it in not so many words, but rough, President. And I said that they are a bunch of losers. It's with me till today. And uh, I think uh, I was not so much diplomatic. Now I've understood how I must say it in future, uh, <laughs> properly, and in a diplomatic way. But the essence of what I was actually communicating is that to don the national jersey. It's not just another day. And to play for Bafana Bafana, the number one sport uh, in South Africa, it's important to understand. Safa have gone through turbulences and challenges. We have now arrived where we are, and we're confident about the future. And what a good step that we have taken in 20 years of freedom to remind us where we come from. That statement by President F.W. Dittlack, and uh, coming into the point where in which all political parties were liberated and that we came to enjoy our football. 1996 was the year to be remembered. President Mandela and South African football coming to, I mean, rising to the occasion, winning that Africa Cup of Nation. President Mandela, Neil Tovey, that picture, a former president and vice president de Klerk in that particular photo, and uh, uniting the nation and uh, taking the nation again yet to a better uh, uh, you know, future when it comes to football. And I'm, I'm privileged today to stand here to remind ourselves where we come from and honor these great, uh, important people uh, who continue to be with us. And we are blessed at South Africa to have them in our midst. And every day we need to continue to remember that. Thank you very much, Safa, and all the best and good luck. Thank you. Thank you, Minister. South African Football Association pays tribute to the founding fathers of the association and recognizes the meaningful role they played in ensuring that the association was part of South Africa, having a new constitution 
and entrenched norms and values of the civilized world and a Bill of Rights on behalf of the members of the association on the occasion of the 24th SAFA Annual Congress, 11th of October, 2014, Johannesburg. We honor you now. If we could please call up on stage, uh, if we could please call up Minister Khatebe, as well as Chairperson of Sports Portfolio Committee, Ms. Lulane. If they could please join me on stage to hand out the awards. Thank you, Minister. Ladies and gentlemen, as you all know that the founding fathers are very, very important as far as South African football is concerned, uh, recognizing the meaningful role that they obviously did play, and as my colleague Minnie has mentioned, uh, bringing us all the right values of the civilized world and also the Bill of Rights. Difficult times it was back then, but they managed to pull it off against all odds. And who we recognize now, ladies and gentlemen, posthumously, and what we've decided to do is not to change the photograph, so they might look slightly blurred. <laughs> it's not because of any mistake. We've kept the original pictures uh, of each and every one of them. And as you can see in the background, let's recognize and call upon the representative for Mr. S. Murewa. Let's give them a big round of applause. And as we've seen the success that came with Bafana Bafana during his reign as the president of SAFA, notwithstanding the successes of 1996 and also the many tournaments that were played under the Four Nations tournaments, all presided under by Mr. Murewa. Our next award goes to Mr. W. Mapaka. Could his representative please come join us on stage? Just to reiterate that these awards are posthumously being presented, ladies and gentlemen, not forgetting the hard work that was done. So if we do have the representative for Mr. W. Mapaka, if he may step forward. Well, else, if there is no representative, we will hold uh, this award and make that offer later on. Thank you so much indeed. We will hold back on the offer for Mr. Makar. And also, not forgetting posthumously, Mr. R. Reddy. So representatives of Mr. Reddy as well, we will carry that one over. We will hold it back here with us on stage. We'd also like to honor Mr. N. Florm. From the ball, he had a strong financial influence in the SAFA structures. If his representative is not with us, oh, he is. She is, thank you. And obviously, in our endeavor to keep uh, the minister and head of portfolio committee very fit, <laughs> we are going to make sure that they keep crisscrossing the stage here <laughs> to make those presentations. <laughs> so <laughs> it's not by default. It was something that was well planned out here, ladies and gentlemen. If you're a minister of sports, you better be a minister of fitness. <laughs> and also, the final recognition posthumously would be Mr. V. Barkis. Oh. 
Any representatives? All right, we will hold that one back as well, ladies and gentlemen. But thanks so much. That's the final one posthumously. Let's give them all a big round of applause. Don't walk. No, no, no. I'll bring them to you. Um, our next honoree goes to Mr. M. George. Mr. M. George headed up the National Sports Council. He was the interim chair when Safa applied for CAP. And he could not be with us this morning, so we will make sure he gets his award later on. And also, let's uh, not forget, ladies and gentlemen, the big prof, Khadina Bukao. And obviously, when it comes to history, he'll always be remembered as the first duly elected president of the South African Football Association. Massive achievement. Ladies and gentlemen, the prof. Our next recipient goes to Dr. M. Oliphant. <laughs> Dr. Oliphant was former SAFA president. He now holds prominence in CAF as well as FIFA structures. Maybe ministers and chair, if you could just stay there, the ladies will come to you with the award so that there's no up and down. How's that sound? No, <laughs> Enough I, I, I for wanted this them to go up and down. <laughs> no, man. Comrades is around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, the next recipient of our award goes to the current president of the South African Football Association, Dr. Danny Jordan. better there, Rob, don't you think? <laughs> Next up to receive his award is Mr. M. Subdan. Obviously, he could not be with us today. Former treasurer kept all financials in check, especially in a time where sponsorships were very difficult to acquire. So we do honor him, and we will make sure that he receives his award. All right, our next recipient goes to Mr. A. Wilcox, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very influential figure, especially when it came to the unity talks. Led those unity talks with aplomb. So great leadership from his side. Deserve it, nominee. Our next recipient 
goes to Mr. C. Trader. As you can see, ladies and gents, Mr. Trader is still going strong. And the fact that he's with us today illustrates his many years of commitment to the game of billions. Love it. I've never seen a takeoff like that, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and I never knew that this room had the healing powers. <laughs> I think we got a shorter trip to travel moving forward. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the next recipient goes to someone who still is very, very visible when it comes to football administration, Mr. D. Blankens here. Our next recipient is Mr. A. Trikumji. <laughs> Mr. Trikumji was part of the initial leadership structures when football was professionalized in South Africa and a leading legal brain in the National Association. Not only a leading administrator today, ladies and gentlemen, a person that has set records on his own on the football field, having played in America, came back to South Africa, formed his own club, Kaiser Chiefs, Mr. Kaizam Daum. Please don't leave us. You we want to keep you prisoner just, yeah. for two seconds? Just for two seconds. Do you mind if we do, ladies and gentlemen? Because when you turn 70, that's a milestone. Huge. <laughs> officially going to break protocol of what was supposed to happen here. He is going to go blow the candles, but in a quick 30-second recognition of this milestone on a day and occasion like this here today, ladies and gentlemen, just a few words, please, Bob. <laughs> uh, 
I must confess that I'm very much awestruck. Uh, this is not what I expected. I was just expecting to receive this award. But I must say I'm very grateful to God that uh, he gave me this journey to travel with all the people that I've come to know and to have contributed the little bit that I could do towards the development of sport in South Africa. So I also wish to thank Safa for the recognition and, and for showing that uh, at least the little bit I did has actually made a lot of people happy and proud. I thank you all. While you're standing, you will encourage him to blow the remainder of those candles off, ladies and gentlemen. I think natural causes have seen the demise of a few. <laughs> Mr. Matong will actually be turning 70 on Thursday, if I'm not mistaken. Turning 70, but looks not a day over 50. <laughs> <laughs> So certainly a great occasion with the former presidents of the country, leadership of the South African Football Association, <laughs> the minister rushing across. <laughs> he, he was just told that's the front page for tomorrow. He said he can't be left out. <laughs> can't miss it. <laughs> Now this, Rob, is how you celebrate your birthday. In the morning, who said birthdays are for the evening? You know what I mean? This is how you celebrate your birthday. Sure. <laughs> it's a historical day indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Stalwarts of football. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Kaiser Mdaung. All right, and obviously for this uh, segment of the morning, ladies and gentlemen, we'll just show you a video which pretty much sums up why we are all here today and also what's still to come on what is an exciting morning right here in Santon, ladies and gentlemen. In 1990, Nelson Mandela was released from prison, and that set in motion change in the country. By 1991, we had achieved uh, the creation of a single football organization called South African Football Association, or SAFA. And then in July of that year, 1991, uh, we made the presentation to CAF and made the case uh, that CAF must accept us. Five years later, South Africa hosted and won the Africa Cup of Nations in the first time of asking. This is a chance, yes! Mark Williams has scored! Kumalo laid it on, Mark Williams tucked it past the keeper, and 2-0 now, and certainly it must be all over. That victory was followed by qualification to the 1998 FIFA World Cup in France. After participating in the World Cup, South Africa decided to bid for the 2006 World Cup. Is no chance. But those dreams came tumbling down. Let me assure you, though, as South Africans, we have gone through this kind of uh, problems in the past. We are not going to rest on our laurels now. We are going to fight and fight hard. In year 2010, we will come back very, very strong. And I can assure you, we will get it. The 2010 FIFA World Cup will be organized in South Africa. 
world. South Africa then became the first African country to host a FIFA World Cup. And what a showpiece it was. We have carried the pride of this continent, the pride of the country. Well done, South Africa. Thank you very much. Use the benefits of the World Cup to the best of our ability to take out our, our country. If we could please welcome on stage Dr. Jordan. We've already got Minister Mbalula on stage with us, Mr. Kathrada, Advocate Bezos, as well as Mr. Mlangeni, to please take the positions on stage. And as they make their way up, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see in the screens behind us, the Presidents of the Republic of South Africa for excellent service and contribution to the creation of a new society. And that's on behalf of the members of the association on the occasion, on the occasion of the 24th SAFA Annual Congress that is being staged here today. I know that he's here enjoying the occasion, ladies and gentlemen, but uh, let me call upon Dr. Ivan Koza to please uh, step on stage and be part of the handover. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Ivan Koza. And the first president we honor this morning is former president F.W. de Klerk. If you could please take a look at the screens for the short video clip. National Congress, the Pan-Africanist Congress, the South African Communist Party and a number of subsidiary organizations is being rescinded. Ladies and gentlemen, obviously we will allow all the former presidents to send acceptance speech on their behalf. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. F.W. de Klerk. I'll take that again after I made my little speech. <laughs> Thank you so much for the award that you have presented to me and that you are going to present to the other former presidents today. I would like to say that the award should actually have been presented to the South African people as a whole, because they, in my opinion, were the real stars of the 2010 World Cup. For a magical few weeks in 2010, they showed the successful outcomes we can achieve and the goodwill that we can generate when we South Africans work together for a common goal. I believe we should free ourselves from the divisive approaches that increasingly set some Africans, some South Africans against each other. We should unite once again as we did with the World Cup to work for the goals of a better, a more just and a more equal society that are articulated in our constitution. We should recapture the magic 
of 2010 by working together to ensure that all South Africans can be winners. And maybe the best starting point, ladies and gentlemen, would be, as we did with the World Cup, identify our strengths, identify our weaknesses, highlight our strengths, improve there where we are weak. And if we do that with the economy, and if we have a World Cup approach to attract, again, investments from across the world, South Africa, as in 2010, can and will be a winner again. Thank you so much. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, the history of South Africa continued, the history of South African football continued, and what great leadership was then shown by the one and only, and today recognizing him posthumously, ladies and gentlemen, Tata Nelson Madiba Mandela. My friends, it is 28 years. My friends, it is 28 years since FIFA took a stand against racially divided football and helped to inspire the final struggle against apartheid. And it is 12 years since FIFA recognized the progress we had made towards a non-racialism and welcomed South Africa back to the international football family. Through football, we can celebrate the humanity of the southern tip of Africa and share that with the continent and the world. As football generated hope from Robben Island, hosting this World Cup will give further meaning to this hope. official welcome ladies and gentlemen on behalf and posthumously recognizing former president Nelson Mandela Mamundilega Mandela is here give a big round of applause on behalf of the Mandela family I must say that I'm truly humbled to be standing here and accepting this award on, on behalf of granddad and uh, as I was looking at him speaking about the FIFA 2010 World Cup, I'm reminded of the epilogue in his book, Long Walk to Freedom, where he says, I have walked that long walk, road to freedom. I have tried not to falter. I have made missteps along the way, but I have discovered the secret that after climbing a great hill, one only finds that there are many more hills to climb. I have taken a moment here to rest, to steal a view of the glorious vista that surrounds me, to look back on the distance I have come. But I can rest only for a moment, for with freedom comes responsibilities. And I dare not linger, for my long walk is not yet ended. Finally, that long walk ended on December 5, 2013. But his legacy continues in each and every one of his progeny. It continues through me. His spirit lives within me. And the work that Grandad started of actually making sure that he uplifts the rural areas in the space of health and education continues through the legacy of the, a, a foundation that has been set up, a foundation that bears the name of his firstborn son, Temegile. Timbigile Mandela Foundation is continuing that legacy of making sure children in the rural areas have a short at life. And I would implore our esteemed minister, Minister Mbalula, together with SAFA, to make sure that we roll out programs, sporting, facility, sporting facilities in the rural areas. Let us give these children a chance in life. Not only will we tap into the talent that lies in these rural areas, but we'll make sure that these children benefit in what sporting activities have to offer. And finally, I hope in the next 10 years, the faces that we see here, the gender that we see around the room 
has changed, and it is up to us as the women to change the face of, of football. I thank you. I definitely concur with that. At this moment, I would like us to honor former president, Thabo Mbeki. If you could please take a look at our screens. I believe that there will be other opportunities in the future for us to host major sporting events. Next time, we will win. This is an African journey of hope. And therein, Mr. President, lies the imp immense importance of the decision you took in 2001 to afford Africa the privilege to host the Soccer World Cup. Through this decision, you conveyed the message to all Africans, both on the continent and the African diaspora, that you are ready and willing to accompany us on our journey of hope and give us the strength and stamina we need to traverse the difficult terrain that separates us from Africa's renaissance. A particular tribute must go to the South African Football Association, leadership of soccer in our country, the bid committee's chairperson Ivan Koza, the CEO, Danny Jordan, for the excellent work that they've done. FW de Klerk has just told me that uh, I need to pay Safa 10 rand because this statue calls, costs 10 rand to build. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> no, let's say uh, I'd like to join him actually when he says uh, really we do need to congratulate our people, the people of South Africa for really what we're celebrating now. What was done in the past and hopefully what we're going to do in future. Uh, <clears throat> but I think we also need to thank uh, the leadership of soccer uh, over a number of decades. Uh, I've had the privilege to work with them for, for those decades. Uh, <clears throat> so I have some sense of the journey that we've traveled in, in soccer and other sports codes. But I really need to, we need to say thank you to them for even the vision that uh, South Africa should, uh, uh, should and could host uh, the, the FIFA Soccer World Cup. The, uh, <clears throat> the true, I mean, as, as President de Klerk has been saying, we continue to face many challenges, and I think it's indicated the direction in which we need to move. Uh, I know that people here like uh, Ivan, like Kaiser, um, like Trix, uh, 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 Dr. Trick Amji and others uh, <clears throat> would know what I mean about that because uh, even if, even when we'd all agreed about the unification of our sports codes, uh, when we came back, we from exile had to engage in another unity process in soccer. Uh, to, to address many, many challenges at the time. And I'm very, very glad indeed that uh, we have the possibility today to meet as we do and to do what we're doing. Uh, hopefully, uh, understanding that this constitutes a common pledge that the South Africans will continue to act together to do better even than we've done in the past. But thank you very much for this award. And I think one day, ladies and gentlemen, when that all important book on how South Africa managed to clinch the World Cup in 2010 is written, 
a lot will be said about the active role that the former president, Thabo Mbeki, played uh, both in the country and in Zurich. I think we all remember the hours leading up to that announcement by the FIFA president, Seb Blatter, that they had made a presentation in Zurich and almost overnight he had to come back to South Africa to make sure that the news that was going to be received, whether good or bad, he was able to make that announcement at the union buildings and nobody really knew who would get it. Uh, but we all knew what had happened and how hard the team had worked. So hopefully one of these days, those that had worked on the 2010 FIFA success do write that book. And especially trying to discipline a person like Kutata Nelson Mandela because there was a scene and a situation where they knew that in that presentation room he would grab all the attention uh, from the world media and the delegates. And it was through the leadership of football and also <coughs> President Tabumbegi uh, where they said, no, that uh, when uh, you need to come in and sit down here because everybody's going to be rushing to you to try to take pictures <laughs> and be in the forefront. So those and others uh, hopefully will be captured one day so that we all get a sense of what happened. And also major contributor, ladies and gentlemen, keen football player himself, keen football follower till today, Khalima Motlante, the press. Football in particular is, is a great unifier because it's an international language. That's why you have all these players playing all over the world uh, with no difficulty because when it comes to communicating, everybody understands the language. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Program Director, the President of SAFA, Dr. Gianni, uh, Danny Jordan, and all the honorable members of the Executive Committee of SAFA, Your Excellencies, former presidents here present, uh, Minister of Sport and Recreation, Minister Mbalula, uh, dear delegates and distinguished guests, Ladies and gentlemen, I wish to begin by thanking SAFA for the special award bestowed on me and all other uh, former presidents as well as recipients of these awards this morning. No honor can be half as worthy and priceless as that bestowed on one by fellow countrymen and women in recognition of one's modest contribution to a shared vision of our nation. In a broader sense, the unrestrained raw passion that burst forth from the hearts of millions of South Africans was the spur that made the 2010 FIFA World Cup memorable. So it would not be drawing the long bow if one said that this is an honor for our nation as a whole for a job well done because indeed we acquitted ourselves very well in 2010. I'm confident that uh, SAFA has emerged from that experience of hosting this important tournament much wiser. I'm also confident that in due course, South Africa as a sporting nation, as a footballing nation, will once again rise to become the powerhouse of the continent and the world at large. In this connection, I remain optimistic that like all of us, SAFA will continue to contribute to a better future of our people. And to this end, I wish SAFA Executive 
everything of the best during this conference as well as the years ahead. Football is a philosophy of life because in life as individuals, as organizations, as uh, uh, institutions, we follow the philosophy of football by setting goals for ourselves. And uh, in real life, uh, and this is no uh, comment on rugby, a try is not good enough. You must score the goal. <laughs> now, in my youth, I tried to play football, and I recall once uh, we had a, a, our captain of the team was our goalkeeper. And so in the first half, our opponents were able to score three goals against us. And at interval, as we were going through teamwork, uh, team talk, to work out how we're going to recover from such a deficit. Uh, our captain, who was our goalkeeper, informed us that uh, the problem was that he, s he saw two balls. <laughs> and so he couldn't catch any one of them. <laughs> and that is why the three goals. Fortunately, we had a senior player in our team and he immediately advised our goalkeeper to focus on one. He said to him, look, don't worry about the second ball. Catch one of them. And we are the ones who will ask from the referee. We'll inquire from the referees to where the second one comes from. With these words, uh, once again, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you very much. <laughs> And lastly, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to honor our current president, Jacob Zuma. I am honored and privileged to be given an opportunity to declare the 2010 FIFA Soccer World Cup open. It was a humbling experience and I felt uh, today South Africa has indeed arrived as one of the country that belongs to the family of nations which was isolated many years ago. So there was an excitement. There was an excitement. Uh, there was something that I was saying, here we are. Uh, not just declaring on behalf of South Africa but on, be on behalf of the whole continent of Africa. We have carried the pride of this continent, the pride of the country. Well done, South Africa. Thank you very much. Use the benefits of the World Cup to the best of our ability to take out our, our country. behalf of the current president, President Jacob Zuma, we welcome the Minister of Sport, Minister Phil Mbalula. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Program Director, former president, and the leadership of SAFA. It is a great honor and privilege to receive this award on behalf of uh, President Jacob Zuma, who could not be with us here because of uh, 
prior commitments of government. But we in government, we fully uh, understand the challenges that the SAFA leadership was faced with over a period of time, and uh, we fully support the leadership of SAFA. The president has got an eye of a footballer and a player when it comes to football matters. He's not only emotional, he's not just a fanatic. He's got an analysis, an in-depth analysis of football himself. Even sometimes when I converse with him about Bafana Bafana and how they've lost, it is him who will calm me down that they are playing very well, Minister. Give them a chance. <laughs> uh, uh, if you look at the style and how they actually lost, it does not mean that uh, they are losers. Sometimes people who don't know a thing about football, they speak a lot about things that they don't know. He's a good supporter of Bafana Bafana. And uh, in his days, even in Robben Island, he was a referee in a football. <laughs> uh, in terms of Makana, a football club, Comrade Tokyo. I don't know whether you're a linesman or what, but <laughs> he, was, he was a referee. But not only a referee, but he was also a player. But I want to tell you, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we support this leadership of SAFA led by Dr. Denis Jordan. We are committed to make South Africa work through development and uh, investing in development, working together with SAFA. And I know the president will say it better than I would at the present moment. And I don't want to interpret further what he would have said, except to say he accepts this uh, award and um, want to wish the leadership of SAFA all the best and congratulate all the recipients uh, today, former presidents who have received this award. Let's move South Africa forward. Thank you very much. All right, uh, a big thanks, ladies and gentlemen, for the official handover to the former presidents uh, as well as current president of these awards here today. We are reaching the end of this morning's first part of the 24th Annual Congress. Uh, it, it does get more exciting, though. We're going to ask the former presidents and everybody else on stage to remain on stage uh, because you just never know what might happen. FW declares.
Soweto Gospel Choir, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, that brings us towards the end of our proceedings for the first half of this morning. We are broadcasting live from here in Santon on 404 right now. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been an absolute honor to have all of you with us and an incredible feat to manage to fit all of these amazing people into one room. I really didn't think it was possible, but being here today has been absolutely momentous, seeing such great leaders um, paving the way for our beautiful fraternity. Sport can only go one way, ladies and gentlemen, and that is up, and together we can. Thanks so much, uh, many ladies and gentlemen, and as we wrap things up, uh, just a, a quick reminder as well that we will remain with the leaders here on stage and um, ask the members of the media as well to meet us uh, in the room, uh, the boardroom, where we will be conducting an official press conference uh, before uh, we disperse. So take your chance now because those doors will be closed and you won't get a chance as well to get out from there. Now, the official word is that it's over to you, Bafana Bafana. It's over to you in your quest for qualification today. We've done our bit here and hopefully come this afternoon You'll put a smile on our faces. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, let's wrap it up and give everybody a big round of applause. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're done with the live broadcast uh, for today. Uh, we will now just ask the former presidents to step forward. We'll be taking a few of the official uh, photographs while the members of the media uh, make their way through as well to the Bill Gallagher room where the uh, media conference will be staged. The former presidents will be there to take your questions and uh, we will attend uh, to that in a few minutes time. And we will let you know which members within SAFA as well will be coming forward to line up uh, for the official photographs that will be taken here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no. 